What the fuck is up, everyone? Prison Meddler here. Um, happy New Year. It's 2023. So, since it's New Year's Day, I'm going to do the anticipated albums of 2023. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. This video will be unedited, by the way, just so you know. So, I don't want to take the video too long. So, I'm, let's get straight right to business here. All right, so here are the anticipated albums. Now, here are the albums that already has the release date. Um, first one is definitely Metallica, 72 Seasons. Um, yeah, I think this album, I know this album's coming out, I think April 23rd. I may be wrong. I know, I know it'll be out around mid to late April. So 72 Seasons, their 11th album. Definitely looking forward to that. Um, so, yeah. Um, Godsmack's Lighting Up the Sky. Their so-called final album. I kind of doubt this would be their final album for some reason. Because there's many bands that say this could be their last album. But it turned out it wasn't. So, yeah. There are many moments that bands could change their mind on that. So, who knows. Maybe it's their final album. Maybe not. And yeah, I know this album will be out around March. I forgot what day, but I know it's around late March. So there you go for that. And next we got Dope's album, Blood Zero. Um, Their first album in seven years. So the last album came out was Blood Money Part 1 in 2016, but there's no Part 2. So, um, so yeah. Um, I don't know if there's ever going to be a part two, but I don't know. So I heard this was supposed to be a prequel. And I heard it's also coming out on March as well, but I forgot what date, though. So looking forward to that. Same with Godsmack. Their last album came out was in 2018. And Metallica 72 seasons. The last album came out was in 2016. So there you go. Next up we got is um, Buried Tomorrow's The Seventh Sun. Um, kind of reminds me of the Iron Maiden song, Seventh Son of the Seventh Son. But, um, yeah, they're finally releasing a new album coming out, I think, around February or March. I need to relook, but I know for sure they're coming out with a new album. And I, I ranked them last year, so, yep. I, I started listening to them last year, and I, I, I actually like them, so I'll definitely look forward to their new album. The Seventh Son. And lastly on here on the, the release date is Suicide Silence. Remember, you must die. Um, I do like their last album. I forgot what it's called. The last album came out in 2020, which is three years ago. Um, I think it's coming out on April or March. I'm not 100% sure. I forgot. But I think they delayed it. I may, I may be wrong here. So let me know about that in the comments. So... All right, so now albums that are expected to be 2023, which means that they haven't announced the release date, but it's expected to be out sometime in 2023. So here, so here's my list, which is a shit ton of them. It's all in alphabetical order. Um, all that remains. Yes, um, I heard they were making a new album sometime in 2022, and some should probably be out. I believe around 2023. So the last album came out. Uh, we already can't. I forget, what's that album called? Hold on. All right. My only exception. I'll edit this part. All right. Yeah. Their last album came out in 2018, which is, well, it came out late 2018. I think around November, or December. So, um, yeah, Victim of the News Disease. The last album was Victim of the News Disease. Came out November 9th, 2018. So, yeah, they're hopefully they'll release an album by then this year. Next up, not really my most anticipated, but I'll say Avenged Sevenfold. Um, I used to be a fan of them a long time ago, but not really anymore. But I'm kind of curious on what they're doing on their next album. So... I decided to put that in the list here. So, yeah, the last album came out uh, was The Stage in 2016. Um, it's been forever since they 
made a new album, so we'll see what they have on their next album. Um, so yeah, the, they should be out with the 2023 release. Next up is As I Lay Dying. Um, maybe in 2023. I heard some. I heard things are not going well with that band. Um, uh, since I heard there's half the band members left. For some reason, I don't know why, but um, yeah, but I heard they're releasing it sometime in 2023. Uh, it's expected to be out in 2023, so I'm not sure about that. Um, so yeah, that's in my list here. Next up is Cattle Decapitation. Um, I heard they're making a new album, expected to be out sometime in 2023, maybe around the fall or so. And I definitely like their last album, Death Atlas, which it came out in 2019. So I'm definitely looking forward to uh, Death At to uh, to their next album. So I definitely love Cattle Decapitation's recent material. So there's that. Next up, um, this could be possibility that this could be out in 2024, but not this year. But I decided to put in the list anyway because there is a possibility that it could be out in 2023. And that would be Deftones. Um, I heard they're also making a new album. Um, like I said, it, this could be out in 2024. I don't know. But um, I decided to put in the expected list in 2023. So, yeah. Um, if it were to release in 2023, I would say my prediction of it probably around October or November. Somewhere like late 2023. So... Yeah, um, it's either late 2023 or early 2024 on Deftone. So that's just my prediction on it. I mean, I'm not making bets here. Next up is Deicide. Um, yes, definitely looking forward to it. Their last album came out in 2018. Um, yeah, it's been five years. Time to release something new. So let's see what the band has been up to on the Satanic Death Metal Band. So I definitely enjoyed this DSI a lot. They're one of my favorite death metal bands. So, yep. Um, last album came out, like I said, 2018. So, time to check up on them. Next up is, um, shocking to be in this list, is Death Clock. I heard, as you may know, Death Clock is from the show Metalocalypse. Um, I heard they're releasing a new album. Uh, their first album came out, the last album came out was in 2013, which is... 10 years ago well it's the doomstar opera but their actual album came out was a death album was in 2012 so if you don't count the doomstar requiem whatever that's called the rock Alper album then it'll be their first album in 11 years so yeah i'm definitely looking forward to that this uh next one uh i heard rumors that this may be delayed until like 2024, but I could be wrong here. And that would be Dream Theater. I heard I heard last year they're already making a new album. So I wouldn't be surprised if they release a new album this year. Because usually, usually Dream Theater releases a new album like every two to three years. So I wouldn't be surprised if they release it this year. So yeah. Next one on my list is Exodus. Um, I heard they're already making a new album, Exodus. So, yeah, um, time flies by, people. So, definitely looking forward to their next album. The last album uh, came out in 2021. Same with Dream Theaters. It came out in 2021. Um, I, Persona Grata is, eh, to me, it's probably one of my least favorites, but I'll still check out their next album nonetheless. So we'll see what this band has got to offer. Now there's another big one. Uh, next one is my list is Fear Factory. Now Fear Factory, um, I heard they're really they're about they're making a new album. It should be out sometime in 2023, and it would be their very first album without Burton C. Bell since he left the band in 2020. The last album came out in 2021, so I'm curious to see what this band, what this the next album has to offer. So, hopefully they stay consistent. Hopefully Fear Factory stays consistent with their music, cause there's no original. Well, Dino did left the band in the mid 2000s, but he came back, and I think around 2009, 
Burton C. Bell is the only one who appeared in all albums. And then he left the band, which is kind of odd. So, since there's many lawsuits happening um, between the period of Gen Exus and Aggression Continuum, um, I guess uh, Dino's the one who is now taking over the band. So, yeah, due to bad lawsuits and hiatus and all that. And if it didn't turn out well, then I guess it will probably be time for Fear Factory to break up. Sorry, Fear Factory. I love you, but it's not working for y'all. Call it quits. Time to close the band. Next up, um, definitely, definitely past their album release, and that it would be Judas Priest. I heard it was should be out. I heard... Many people say it's supposed to be out in 2021. I heard many people say it's supposed to be out in 2022, but neither albums have been released yet. So, um, yeah, Judas Priest, definitely in my list here. Um, the last album came out in 2018 was Firepower. So, um, yeah, this would be their first album in five years. Um, definitely looking for, and I do think Firepower is Judas Priest's best album since Painkiller, in my opinion. Definitely their strongest album in a very, very long time. So hopefully we'll see what they got to offer on their next record. So they're still pulling strong. They're still very consistent with this. So Judas Priest has to be in my list here. Next up I got is Kill Switch Engage. Um, sorry, Car. Anyway, uh, yeah, Kill Switch Engage. Their last album came out was Atonement, if I pronounce that right. Um, the last album Atonement came out in 2019. Um, and it's past their time to release other new album. I thought their new album would be out last year, 2022, but it didn't. So, yeah, looks like nowadays they're releasing new albums like every three to four years now. So... Yeah, hold on. I'm I'm gonna give me some water. I'll be right back. Sorry. Okay, uh, moving on. Next up, um, I have is Periphery. Yes, definitely past their time to release a new album. The last album came out, which is Periphery 4, Hell Stand. Came out in 2019, and I actually enjoy Periphery now. I used to dislike them back in the day because um, I think I just mainly heard their early stuff, and I'm just not getting the voice the guy's voice, but but I looked up their recent materials for the first time, and the vocals in that band kind of reminds me of Chester Bennington from Lincoln Park. That's what the vo that's what the lead singer sounds like to me. The lead singer sounds like Chester Bennington for, for some reason, in my opinion. But um, yeah, I'm um, definitely looking forward to their new album. Let's I'm gonna see what they got on their next album. So. Definitely one of my most anticipated albums of 2023. Um, so it's definitely time for them to release a new album. Because I heard they're already making it in 2022. So, And I heard they're done recording it. And it's already being mastered. So hopefully it'll probably be out by... My guess will probably be around... Somewhere from April to July. That's just my... So somewhere around spring or summer so my expectation release date will be around from april to july that's just my guess and last but not least is um the final one no actually my bad i got two two more my bad um or three more i should say next up is overkill um yeah overkill um they said they're not releasing a new album before april 2023 so yeah, almost forgot to mention Overkill. They're like they're an underrated thrash band. I haven't ranked them yet. 
Um, I know I was originally going to do it around the fall of 2022, but so for some reason, I kind of lost passion in ranking, and I just don't find that fun anymore. It kind of got old to me, but I'll still check out Overkill. I may not do Alm rankings that much as I used to back in the day, but this doesn't mean I quit doing it. I may do it whenever I feel like it or something like that. But um, yeah, mainly because of this new software I'm using that with all the glitchy stuff and the water marker in the way, it kind of ruins it and kind of make me lost interest in it. If I use it without it, then it gets really glitchy. So it kind of made me lose passion on it. But I don't know. We'll see. This doesn't mean I'm quitting it, though. I'm not quitting anything. So don't worry about that. All right, next up, um, two more. Symphony X. Symphony X is way past their release date. The last time it came out was in 2015. So that's like eight years ago. So, And I've already did a ranking on them back in around 2021. So let's see what that band has to offer. So definitely looking forward to that album. And last but not least is Testament. I heard Testament is making a, a new album last year, so should be released somewhere around 2023. So let's see what that. What, I mean, Times of Creation, it's decent, but not one of my favorites. I think Brotherhoods of the Snake is better, and Times of Creation. Or no, I'm sorry. Um, the album before that, I forgot what it's called. It came out in 2020. No, I'm sorry. It came out in 2012. My bad. Um, I forgot what it's called. Damn. But you get what I mean. Um, yeah. And that's it for my anticipated list. So what is your anticipated list? Let me know in the comments. So if I left your favorite band out, mainly because I just don't care for it, or I never heard of them, or whatever. But yeah. Let me know what is in your fans list just let me know in the comments and i'm gonna go ahead and get the fuck out of here so signing off